Hello everybody and welcome to a new video where we're going to be discussing the Equatorial Animal Pack and what it could consist of. This is a new pack I've thought of that could really add a bunch of new animals that are highly requested into the game. So without further ado, let's get into it. So beginning with the animal, we have the highly requested Secretary Bird as the flagship, a terrestrial raptor that would be a fine addition to any African Secretary. Followed by the Hamadryas baboon of the Red Sea and Ethiopian Highlands, a very distinct primate with a silver mantle. The Cockerel Safaka would, would be another great addition, my personal most wanted animal, and would add a great new atmosphere to the animals, as they would be just a very entertaining animal to watch. Joffrey spider monkeys as well would be a great South American, or in this case Central American, bit of representation here, as they would utilize the brachiation mechanic which is only occupied by gibbons and orangutans currently. Goodfellow's tree kangaroo is another highly requested animal from Papua New Guinea, an island known for its rainforest species and the tree kangaroo would be a very unique arboreal species to be added. The black buck is a sleek and slender antelope from the plains of India and Pakistan. These animals are very sexually dimorphic, with the males sporting a black and white coloration in long spiral horns, with the females being a brown color. The bush dog is a small canid from South America that I think would be a brilliant addition here. Their small size would make them very unique in comparison to the main wolf that also inhabits South America. The panther chameleon is my top choice for an exhibit species with its bright colours and unique adaptations as animal would be great to see in the exhibits. On to some possible alternatives we have the Sumatran rhinoceros, a brilliant animal that has had history in captivity that would be a great addition to see Frontier bring to life. The greater rhea from the plains of South America would be another great ratite addition and the last ratite for the game. The Rattel or Honey Badger would also be a fantastic addition here. The toughest animal in the world with a distinct black and white coloration would be great in this pack. The Fishing Cat is another small felid that would be a great addition to the game. Utilizing deep diving like many other cats in the game, use, using the underwater fish feeder to live up to its name. The Shoebill would be another great species, a rarity in captivity but nonetheless an intimidating figure. The Mantle Jeriza is a black and white old world monkey from the mountains and cloud forests of Africa. This species would be a great addition as they're a common sight in many zoos. An alternative exhibit animal is the King Cobra, the largest and longest venomous snake in the world, and I would really love to see this thing added to the game at some point. Moving on to the features of the free update. We have a few new plants, such as the purple passion flower, the giant bromeliad, the Traveler's Palm, Canalba Palm, the Rattan Palm, and the African Mahogany. All great species that would add a great dash of flora to the game. Some new animal variants would be great here, such as the Golden Wild Dog, Darker Grey Elephants, Browner Black Rhinos, the Black Maned Wolf, Greyer Warthogs, More Orange and Pale Shavolsky's Horses, A Winter and Pale Coat for the Adax, Dolls with white underbellies and longer fur. More dingo variants would also be a great addition here. Some new remasters could include the cheetah and the African lion as well. Spotted hyena would also be great here. Now for the biggest feature, we have interactive talk shows with amphitheaters to show animals at their best and brought right up to where guests can interact with them. There will be many different species that could be brought out into these shows, almost every animal in the game in fact with keepers showing the audience the adaptations that help animals survive in the wild. And much inspiration comes from the San Diego Zoo's wildlife presentations. The main layout could consist of an open space for some of the larger animals and more athletic species, with a line of log columns to simulate jumping, a branch for arboreal animals to climb onto like sloths, a pool of water, and a pen at the back for many undulate species. All this would be a great addition to the guest education system, and I think this would be great to bring to life in Planet Zoo. 
Let me know what you think of the equatorial animal pack in the comments down below. Leave any alternatives and potential suggestions to make this pack even better. I personally would really love to see a pack like this brought to life as it has so many highly requested animals that could fit into it and would really round out a lot of the, equ the equator's regions and many animals that are highly requested, such as the secretary bird, baboons, tree kangaroos, all of those sorts. This would come after the Latin America animal pack, ideally, so to not overpopulate this pack with South American animals to allow for more areas of the world to be represented evenly in this pack. But yeah, let me know if you have any alternatives in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.